The one and only Xalophony here, looking cool for another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. We are taking the Sacred Beasts up against the Pyramid of Light. The mighty Sphinxes themselves, who were built to cast down the gods, but we got some beasts instead. How do you think it's going to go, Mario? I think, they're, I think they uh, got a card to fit the bill. I think they can still take them down. We'll see. Because, uh... I'm gonna use my sacred beasts again because I, I enjoy these and and the fairy box that may be contained within this deck. So we'll see. I actually got a really bad starting hand. Oh dang. Like <laughs> really bad. Bang. And my turn. <laughs> wow, really? That exactly it. Let's just say I have four cards that affect my graveyard right now. It's pretty good. Well, I'll set this guy down along with these two and ending all right sir oh fantastic I'll end my turn <laughs> well let me just flip up my apprentice Piper oh boy when he's flipped I get the special summon a Sphinx Tila Ah, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Gotta get Art rid of the people. cards. Out of the cards, oh. come on. Right, right, your swords. Yeah. Ha. Let's see, what's this thing do? Equal to half the defense. Oh, man. Oh, I can do something. I can do. No. I can't. I can't do anything. Huh. Eh, it could be good long term. We'll get Warrior hmm. Greffer out there. Activate him. Discard the Phantom of Chaos. And of course, Dark Summoning Beast. And hmm. activate it now. So we can get we can get something in our hand. You know, our boy. And that is a... Uh, actually, I could have done this as well, but that's all good, too. Um, yeah, let's bait those back rows, shall we? Attack the Apprentice Piper! Oh, wait. Darn it. I just read the effect. <laughs> I thought that was only the flip effect. All right, what can you special summon from? From your hand. Okay. Okay, so you just had a fire hand. That's all good. And a much Yeah. Turn. It'd be good if I had an Andrew Sphinx. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be really handy, but, you know, I, I just didn't think that you would have that many Sphinxes, that's all. Because <laughs> I still can't attack. Till mm. now. Yep. Ooh. Might as well drop the reinforcement of the army, get my other Dark Greffer out here for no reason. There we go. Actually, it might be for a reason. Hold on, is this one card? Oh yeah, it's just the Armatile. I don't have Xyz in here. Oh yeah, you do in that deck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This will be <laughs> interesting. If only I had my... My... My cube. My crazy box. But I don't. So. This ain't uh, your gambler deck. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Ah-ha-ha. Uh, -ha. Let us try... This! The Phantom of Chaos. Oh, I know what you're about to do. Mm-hmm. Now, I need to get one of these guys in my graveyard first, right? Yeah, so, Dark Reffer again. We'll throw in the Armageddon Knight. Even though that would have literally done the same thing if I summoned it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try that one. And now we're gonna activate this. Give him the effect of the Dark Summoning Beast. Which I could have actually done turn one when I was saying I had a terrible hand. Now I activate him to bring out... Uh, let's see, who is the guy I can't summon normally? Uh, let's see, continuous spells. Yep, I don't have any of those. Ta-da! Ham on oh. cheese. Alright, so I don't have anything crazy to do yet. I can't go tickle in that fire hand, I don't think. Let's see, do I have any... I'm still not used to using the other guys besides Oreo. So, let's see. So if blah, 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 blah. When this card destroys a monster by battle, sent to the graveyard, inflict a thousand damage. While this card's in face-up defense position, your opponent cannot target other monsters for attacks. Okay. 
Interesting. If I destroy Firehand with the other guy, though, you'll just destroy Haman because he's not protected right now. Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need Mound or Fallen Paradise. Yeah, and I can. I recommend not doing that. Turn. So, yeah, I guess I'll just do this then. Unfortunately, I have to leave him in attack, so we'll do this, and end my turn. Why do I have a bad feeling? I know what that is. You have no idea what that is. What are you talking about? Never seen that mm. card in your life. Well, let's do some extra damage, shall we? Oh boy, that'll be fun. It's gonna drop the Greffer, do a thousand. Not only that, I do half of. Oh, and you do half of the defense. Nice. I was sitting there like, oh, you do half of my defense. Well, I have zero defense with when the other guy was on the field. Yep. All right. And so that's 18. There you go. I'm in the lead now. <laughs> yep. Technically you Yep, technically you are. Okay. I need to get my field card. That's what I need. Yeah, get all that draw power, huh? Yep. Let's see. Okay. I can do a few things here right now, but I think I'm going to switch my boy to defense mode. Even though, just so he, you can't like firehand counter me or anything. And Ooh. yeah, because I need some more cards. I got plays waiting to happen, but I want him to like. I don't want him to be countered, so I'm banking on that field card. Hmm. Because I could easily get another sacred beast out here right now. But. No point in that. Wait, why am I going to defend attack position? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just chilling. I think I'm making the appropriate play here and asking you shall receive. Terraforming. Oh. Nice. Yep. And that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, now, does this prevent the uh, monster effects from killing me? Opponent's card effects. Yeah. Okay. Activate. Perfect. Fallen Paradise's own defeat. And... We shall now activate it to get some cards, shall we? Hmm. Very nice. Uh, okay, cool, cool. I think what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to attack mode. Let's just try it out, shall we? And... Yeah, let's just... Let's just bait every... Nah, let's be patient. <laughs> let's not be too dumb. Let's, uh, set two cards... And now let's attack! Here's Sphinxy, Sphinxy, Sphinxy. I recommend not doing that. I'll do it anyway, I don't care. What's happening? What's gonna happen, huh? Honest! Ah, very nice. That's one way to take him out. Okay. Ah, uh, if only you had another mound on your side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, call the haunted. Bring this little thing up again. Do you meet the requirements? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. Because I'm going to normal summon Armageddon Knight. Okay, there it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get my third and final dark summoning beast to the grave. Alright. And now... I'm going to activate and do the whole thing and bring out the other dude. Um, or it could be the, uh, the Lord of Striking Thunder now. We're going to bring out another sacred beast. Another one. Because we want to do that. And it's time for Ravioli! Mm. Now what's his effect? Once per turn I contribute and it gains attack. Uh, well, I can't attack this round anyway, so... That does not matter, and just so I don't lose life points, boop! Another one. <laughs> Another one. DJ Khaled all over this video. Um, and... Let's see. Hmm. I'll end my turn. Now uh, this leaves me in a very precarious spot. Yeah. Cause, because we have two field spells that protect... One field spell that protects level uh -huh. 10 and higher, what your sacred beasts do. And yours just protects your sacred beast from guard effects. Mm -hmm. I have to switch you to defense. 
And right. I'll set you down. Okay. And I'll end. Let's start getting reckless, shall we? Alright, this should be fun. Activate the pot of acquisitiveness. Welcome back, gentlemen. Oh, that is a good combo right there. Mm-hmm. Can I get a card? Sweet! Let's see. Ah, uh, this is not going to help me at all right now. Um, let's go ahead and set this card. Let's go ahead and... Actually, it really doesn't matter at all, because I don't need Dark Summoning Beasts for anything anymore. Because I've already brought all three of the Sacred Beasts into play. Well, one's my hand. Yeah, I was going to say, don't you still need to bring out Uria? Yeah, but I only just drew the um, cards I need to do it, so... Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Heavy Storm. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Alright. Armageddon Knight, attack the fire! Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't want your other guy on the field. I don't care about you using its effect. I just don't want you to get an ice hand out here. So, oh well. I can still target your Armageddon Knight. Oh yeah, I don't care about him. I want him off the field. Um, hmm. Actually, just because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Special summon an ice hand. Yep. Alright, and you, let's attack the uh, Sphinxy. Actually, can I kill your Sphinxy with Mound of the Bound on there? It's just card effects that don't hurt it, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's drop it. Get one Sphinx off the field so it doesn't come back to bite me later. Kind of wish I'd been drawing another one. And this is going to hurt me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be double-sided, isn't it? Yeah, it's All a right. double-sided blade. <laughs> I'll end my turn. I forget if there's any way for me to get my uh, Sacred Beast back from the grave in this. Now I draw you? Hey, good timing. Good thing I just took out Sphinxy. What's going on? Mm. What's going to happen here, man? I'm going to just... Hmm? And... <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Go ahead, destroy the ice hand. Ah. Uh... Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's... Because I think I might be able to win this round. So let's go ahead and... Ah, no, I can't. I can't win this round. Okay. So let's just go ahead and attack. Because I think that's what I want to do right now. I could get Oreo out here. I don't want to yet, though. That's less fun. Ah, let's do it! Anguish pattern. I don't have anyone to combo him up with, unfortunately. Yes. I'll activate the Maxi. <laughs> ah. Okay. Is that the one where you get to... Draw every draw time he's special. Okay. So I guess you'll get two here. I'll yep. let you get them. Hmm. And now I can go ahead and bring out Oreo. So get yourself another card. Now, he's not going to be super powerful or anything, so. Let's see. I believe I've already played. No, I have not played Fallen Paradise yet. I should have done that earlier. Not a big deal. Probably wouldn't have made a difference since all my slots were full yes. anyway. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? It would have been really broken if you were to put those uh, quivetousness back into the graveyard <laughs> for you. Actually, yeah. that is a card. Bury I think I might defense. have that in the deck, actually. The one that brings some five from the graveyard to the deck. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can draw it. Do, do, do. Two cards from hand to graveyard. Okay. How about these two cards? I can't use it all right now. And I'll get rid of these two cards. All right. What? Ha. <laughs> Lol. This will be fun. <laughs> I got... What the hell? <laughs> I'll set this card, actually. And let's attack some stuff, shall we? Actually... Huh. Man, I wish my swords went away this turn. I'm gonna try some things. Nah, I'm just gonna attack. This will be fun. Alright, so let's attack the ice hand. And 
you're gonna go and activate the effect and try to use it on Fallen Paradise. And I'm gonna activate Solemn. 700 points. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm not gonna attack your other Ice Hand that's face down right now. But I will set this. On my turn. I don't know if it's a nice hand, but if it is, I ain't playing around. <laughs> it's either a nice hand or a fire hand, the way I see it. I ain't messing around with it. This is what I drew. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You can thin your deck at least. Alright. You see, one of the cards I threw away was a fallen paradise. Nice. Yeah, Mound of the Bound, yeah. <laughs> now you can get another, it's great! So I got another hand destruction if you want me to play it. Hmm. I don't have a hand though, so... Yeah, you, you're you gonna have to right now, but that's not gonna really matter. <laughs> yep, alright, I don't think any of this matters which order I play it, so... Uh, let's see, chain another card. No. All four cards I could activate at the end phase. Jeez, I wonder what they are. Alright, I'm wondering one if this is box? Work. No, I haven't drawn Fairy Box at all. But I want to get the Phantom of Chaos really? out here. Do you have a? Do you have one of them in the grave? Dark Summoning Beast? No. Not trying to make it a Dark Summoning Beast. Ooh, are you about to do what I think you're about to do? You're, I'm about to do what you think I'm about to do. All right. Do that. Oh no! It's become Haman. Yes. Yes, it has. Let me just double check this thing. All right, let's do a little bit of safety while we're at it. Let's go ahead, flip up statue. Yeah, I can only take out one of your back row, but might as well do it, you know? Yeah. Which one should I take out? Any of them if you want. Okay. Let's see, since you had ample opportunity to use the middle one, I'm going to assume it's not that. I don't recall the order in which the two side ones were placed, so it's going to be a 50-50 chance of one of those being the fresh card that can actually do something. But we'll see. Um, let's make it... Let's see, it goes there, then there, then here. There. So. Aw, oh, nothing. Alright, let's go for broke. Boom, boom, boom! All three of the sacred beasts to bring out Armatile! Good thing I don't have an attack position. Yeah. Until now, final attack orders! Oh no. Oh wait, only face up monsters. I lose! Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if it switches it when you uh, get attacked. Ooh, I could have attacked you with the Tiki Curse, maybe. We'll see. Hey, I win! <laughs> Dang it. Good thing I don't have any attack monsters. <laughs> Woo! A legit Armatile victory. Whew. Yeah, you had the full setup for him. Ooh, I did. I did have the full setup. Oh, man, Mario, you want to try this deck out? Sure. Armatile, it just feels good when you finally get to use him and actually have it count. Sure, any of the other guys could have done just enough damage to kill you, but Armatile did it. All right, so we're yeah, going to switch up decks and uh, try us again. So, you yeah, want to go you, first or second since you did take the you know what, since you, deal there? You, since you won the first one with this deck, I'll follow suit and start first. All right. After you, sir. And I also have no idea how to use this Sphinx deck. I don't even know if I've ever used it before. I don't know if we did that last time we did it. And if we no, do, I we actually... I don't think you did because I think you just... We went two, two out of three with uh, God Card versus Yeah, and Sphinx. I just was using God Card, so I'm just... Like, I literally have two Sphinxes in my hand right now. That's good, right? <laughs> uh, might be, it's if a, you have the proper cards. It doesn't cards. seem like it is. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing from what I'm looking at. Do you have right. any of the Apprentice or Pyramid of Light? I'm not telling you anything. All Even right. though I just told you, like, half my hand. Because <laughs> yeah, so obviously you can get your Dark Summoning Beast set up already. Well. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. With this. Ooh. Trap monsters. Or just 
continuous traps so you could get a good mm -hmm. step towards getting your Uriah out here. Yeah, and this app seems to be malfunctioning a bit. Oh, there Perfect. we go. Perfect. Oh. In case you have to end your turn. Alright, what's it gonna be? You get to summon him first turn, right? Because I think Armatel? I could actually... I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I guess I could have actually summoned, like, Haman or something first turn. Just gotta kind of, like, conceptualize all the different kinds of, ver you know, variable combos. Alright, since you did that, uh, let's see. Actually, no, we're good, we're good. The fact you can activate something on this turn, meaning you already have a max C. Exactly. I was just gonna say it, but... But the fact that I know that deck already. <laughs> yeah. Effects keep, like, coming in, and I'm like, oh, can I use it? No, that's not a special summon. Uh, uh, no, that's not a special summon. Uh, uh, nope, still not quite a special summon. <laughs> so. But that could very well be three traps. I'm gonna go out on a whim and say it's... It's not three continuous traps, but we'll see. Good hand, good hand. Alright. Come on, pot of duality, help me out, buddy. Help me well, out. Well, at least I know you won't be bringing any sphinxes out. My god! Let's see. How do I use Malefic, uh, Cyber, and Dragon? Um, you basically special summon him from your hand, but you need a field spell to be active in order to use him. That's the all thing right, about we're all gonna Malefics. grab another pot of duality from that three, then. Sweet. Great times. A whole lot of fun today, Mario. whole lot of fun. <laughs> That's the thing about these comp decks. There are times you can do well with them and do bad with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because we put all these powerful guys in. They're not supposed to all be in here. But they are. <laughs> you don't necessarily want this much power. <laughs> oh, man. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Alright. If the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit delayed. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's start things off by playing Imperial Customs. Oh boy. Protect your dudes. Then oh, let's do, do this. <laughs> you totally do if you're doing it in that order. Fortunately, you have nothing on your field for me to utilize my, yeah, one of my favorite trap so. monsters. Mm -hmm. But you can get a lot of life point damage done right away. Only 3,000 on that, uh, Uriah, but, you know, it's still more than half my life points between that and Armageddon Knight. Yeah, that is very true. Alright. Yeah. Let's make him... You know what? Let's... Let's make him a creator god. Ooh, divine. Um, oh, it wouldn't let me prompt my maxi when you brought out Statue of Anguish, but I can do it now. Interesting. Maybe it did and I just ignored it. Who knows? I'm bad. Yeah. Well, we can get two cards out of this. Oh, fantastic! Another Andro Sphinx! <laughs> Great! Oh, actually, this might be something. Alright. Looking good. Hmm. not a fun time this is not a fun time <laughs> it's, I, I've not seen hands this bad in a long time but fortunately I started out with a dark hole so oh it helps and I have a yeah, card I can does. play now oh if you're setting it down it's either <laughs> I love how we know the decks and we're just like oh that's how we predict them I guess like Professional Yu-Gi-Oh players like kind of understand the other decks that are being played too, though. <gasps> Pyramid yeah. of Light. I don't know how to use it oh, yet, no. but I know I need it. All right, and I'll set this right here. That one's totally it. <laughs> I don't think you ever, to be honest. Besides the spider statue, I don't think you ever put like straight spell destruction in this. No, I don't think there is. Because <laughs> it's just centered around bringing out the big guy. With a couple slight differences. Yeah, because I think um, I think when we were upgrading the deck, I don't think mm -hmm. we actually put in any spell destruction. 
Uh, Alright, let's start by activating Pyramid of Light. I think. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's the chain you want to do it. Alright. And now... Eh, yeah, let's go ahead and special summon! Hello. How are you? And Mound of the Bound just got drawn. Hello. Oh, jeez. That's protection for you. Oh, can I keep doing this? Oh, yeah. As long as you have life points to spend. Sure, why not? Let's summon everything in my hand. Oh, wait. There's other things I can bring out? Ooh. Do these, like, protect me at all? Do you have... Wait, wait. Do you have the fusion of it? Like, the 3,500 one? I don't see it. Not in my hand. Is that in the deck? Or the... Extra? It is. There's one copy of it. You I see, what you do is... You let pyramid. Of, you have it in your hand. You let pyramid of light be destroyed, or let both of them die at the same time. Because when mm -hmm. both of them die at the same time, you bring out the combined form, which is that three thousand five hundred one. Ah, cool. Well, like I'm gonna bring out this guy because he looks cool. Probably should have attacked first, because then that would have been almost Mario. five thousand five hundred. Mario, calm down. You don't realize how bad my hand was. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, you spoke too soon, buddy. <laughs> you know? Oh, jeez. All right, I'm assuming I can activate number 81's effect if you prompt a trap that'll hurt me. So, all right, let's uh, let's attack, shall we? Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, I, I, I need to activate it now. Okay, let's do that. Protect this guy. Um. Oh. Okay. So we get rid of the material, then we can protect ourselves now. Attack. All right. Well, I can survive one turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, attack when mode. <laughs> uh, let's send. Uh, might as well, you know. A dark summoning beast. <laughs> I don't think it does. Does this keep you alive for one turn? It's gonna be close. I think. Barely. No, I think you. I, I think, think you are barely. alive. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, you would have summoned the other one. Mm -hmm. If you would have summoned the, uh, I think the Gusto Max, um, basically you could have just. It would have done the next level. Yeah. Dude, that was. This seemed like safer. But uh, can I not attack with these guys the first turn? Oh. Summoned? Yeah, you're not allowed to summon. You're not allowed oh, to okay. attack with the surrenders. Sure, that's fine. So I could have brought out two Super Dreadnought. Oh, actually no, I would have wanted to bring out a Super Dreadnought and then one of the other guys, one of the, uh, yeah, one of the, rail cannon. <laughs> Oh man, let's see. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Bring him. <laughs> then I'll set. Well. I can't activate a certain card in my hand. So, set these two cards out and then. Alright. Very nice. You say you. You say you have a bad hand, but you were able to stall enough to actually utilize that entire yeah, bad hand. You didn't. You didn't play very aggressive. You know? I didn't have a co I didn't have the card to play. <laughs> what is this game? All right, well I think I can guarantee the win for myself here. Jeez. Activate one for you. Hey brother, you want you want some protection? <laughs> yep. And you? Yes, of course. Activate. Get rid of that, and I, I can't target the Andro Sphinx, but I can target both these guys so they can't be affected by effects. Well, let's right. do this. Alright. You can take out Andro. Alright, to battle! Alright. Andro Sphinx, get him! Yep, expected. Greater God! Ooh, you know what? I actually had a much better play I could have done there. Let's destroy the Pyramid of Light. Let's see if this if that affects. Nope. Still protects it. <laughs> Continue the battle? Sure! Let's go for this guy. Actually, it might have been better for you to attack the Anguish Pattern guy for that because of the defense thing. Oh, yeah, true. Forgot about that. I don't know. I don't know these guys' effects. I'm just attacking and I'm getting lucky. What do you want me to do? I'm oh, surviving. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, Mario. You're doing great. Hey, you're winning. 
Oh, oh man. So, I love how uh, Mound of the Bound protects them against the Pyramid Destruction. That's pretty cool. It's a really yeah, good any... Yeah. Although, at the same time, if you want to try bringing out their biggest form, that mm -hmm. also counteracts it. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, and that's game. <laughs> well, time to pull out my wild card. A Cat of Ill Omen! Oh, jeez. <laughs> so now... I can get another pyramid of light. This uh, is also the time. This is also one of the best cards to use Malefics for. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I could protect myself, but I don't need to. Good game, Mario. <laughs> what an interesting first hand, having you know so many of these guys right off the beginning, and then it actually managing to work. I guess just because of the nature of this deck, once you get one pyramid of light, everything changes. So. Or just or um uh, or uh. Apprentice Piper does almost the same thing, except yeah, you don't just spend any life points. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I just summoned. I could summon four Sphinxes in one turn, man. <laughs> While everything looked so bleak, <laughs> that's what happened. So thank you yeah. guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the return of the Sphinxes. They seem to do a pretty good job over here. And we got oh, this was this was great. We got Armitile out here. We got four Sphinxes out right away. And uh, you had a great time, right, Mario? Let's at least I didn't. At least I didn't fail to fairy box. Exactly, I didn't fairy box you this game. So. I didn't even draw fairy box. Look, Are no you fairy sure box this here? game? It's a plus. It's a plus. So thank you guys for watching. Get a pinky on that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for new videos every day if you like more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And we will see you guys next time.